Question for you. You've got £20,000 to spend on a new car. You could have a brand new Mondeo gear from Ford, a base BMW 3 Series, or a brand new Rover 75. All very good cars, but there's something missing. Where's the passion and where's the excitement? Want to buy a Porsche? Well, you can, for under 20 grand. So, you could have an early 1980s 911 Turbo, yours for just £17,000. You could have a 911 Super Sport, the car with the turbo body but without that extra performance, yours for just £16,000. A gleaming white 968 Sport, 120,000 miles, yours for just £13,000. And finally, a classic 911 in black, gleaming on your driveway for £15,000. But what do you need to look out for? So we've got three classic 911s, the early 911 that we all know and love, then the later 964 models in Carrera 2 Cabriolet form and a Carrera 4. Steve, you've been selling these things for 15 years or so now. Yeah. You should know how, what to look out for. Yeah. What are the crucial things that, that people should look for? Uh, firstly, service history. Um, not only a stamp booklet, but also try to verify the service history. So any invoices that support the stamps. It's not too crucial that an older car has got main dealer service history right the way through, but it should be a specialist that you recognise, if possible ring them, verify that the stamp in the book, the car's actually been and had the service. Try to make sure that the service booklet's the original one with the car, not a replacement one. If it's a replacement one, be very vigilant and make sure that the stamps are genuine. Now, a lot of cars, once they get to this sort of age, become fairly tatty, and, and bodywork is a crucial element on all cars, but particularly mm. on something like this, it's critical, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, 911s are all Porsche at this age of galvanised steel bodies, so uh, unless it's had accident damage, there shouldn't really be any, any uh, replacement panels. You'll always get paintwork around the front end. Just uh, stone chips and things like yeah, that, isn't it? Yeah, edge of the bonnet, underneath the headlamps and bumpers, but that's, that's wear and tear, that's really not a problem at all. Things. And panel gaps, I suppose, is the, is the next thing to look out for? Yeah, panel Make gaps. Sure fit. That's right. If, if it's been professionally fitted, the gaps should be right with the wing anyway. If it's, if it's a poor uh, job, then obviously you get the bigger gaps. Um, always look down the side of the car, sort of get, get down and have a look and see if there's any ripples in there at all. Dented ripples are easily disguised, so it's a difficult thing to spot, but look mainly for overspray. Um, round door locks and, and door edges, because people tend not to detail them properly. So you can pick up on the overspray more, uh, a lot easier. And the interior trim as well? Yeah, if it's been removed and badly replaced, that's a sign that the door's either been off or, or repaired from the inside. Steve, what about the engines on these? I mean, taking a look inside there, it's not like opening up the, the bonnet of a Ford Escort. No. They look fairly major beasts. Mm. Can you do anything with these as an everyday sort of DIY mechanic? Um, you can do, I, d I don't really recommend it. Servicing costs from any decent specialist are not a fortune anyway. Um, using genuine parts, our cost, for example, on this is £239, which is it enables you to get a stamp into the book, an invoice with the stamp, which we talked about earlier on, and you can rest assured that it's been done correctly. And can you see any future problems in there? Mm, it's very difficult to tell with a 911. Obviously, look for oil leaks. Uh, not only look for oil leaks, look, look where the oil leaks might have recently been cleaned. Um, start the car, listen for any dubious noises. Apart from that, there's not a great deal uh, to look for on a 911 engine. And what are the engines good for? I mean, how long will they last before you need to do any major work on them? I've never worn one out, so I don't know, but it's about 150. Usually they need a top-end overhaul or a decoke, as some people call them. But if the car's had regular quality servicing, then it should... 250, 300,000 miles is not a problem to these cars. It's always a joy to get back behind the wheel of a 911 again, and I've driven a few in my time. Some classic ones, some like this, and some newer. But there's something very special when you do get yourself behind the wheel, sat in constant in this very snug cockpit, and you realise that you've got a piece of motoring history at your fingertips. 
It's a wonderful sound that the 911 produces once you start it up from that wonderful 3.6 straight six engine behind you. Around about 250 brake horsepower, it'll do a top speed of well over 150 miles an hour on a nice bit of autobahn. 0 to 60 time isn't lightning quick, you're looking at about six and a half seconds in something like this, but 250 brake horsepower is plenty power enough for me. So if you've set yourself a budget of about £20,000 to spend on a 911, you could be sat in something like this. This is, what, about eight years old? It's a Cabriolet, it's a Carrera 2. It's done just short of 80,000 miles. And this would retail for, at the moment, somewhere like a specialist main dealer, round about just under £20,000, which is a lot of car for the money. And on a glorious day like this, what can be better? The purists amongst Porsche fanatics will say, buy a 911 Coupe, to which I would add, buy a 911 Carrera 4, which is what this car is, because you get that extra sure-footedness to the drive. It's four-wheel drive, split roughly about 65% of the rear wheels and 35% to the front when it needs it. So you're now wondering, what will it cost me to get a 911 Carrera 4 like this? Well, this is one of the early 964 four-wheel drive models. This has done a whopping mileage on it, it has to say. 146,000 miles, but it's got a complete Porsche main dealer service history with it. 146,000 miles in it just feels like a car that you can use every day. It's almost as if it's just been run in. So, are you tempted yet? Have I got your juices flowing? Well, by now, they jolly well ought to be. Carrera 4, full service history, 17 grand. 911 Carrera 2 Cabriolet, low mileage, immaculate condition, yours for under that £20,000 budget. And as long as you buy it with full service history, you'll get a lot of fun for your money. Forget about buying Ferraris or other supercars. These are genuine supercars at affordable prices. Ditch the Mondeo and get one of these babies instead.